a tough area to go in because finance is very personal. Amen. And when you talk about finance, it touches things and touches people in a certain area in a certain way. Amen. And one of the things that I want to start off this morning talking about, we're going to talk a little bit about the actual credit report. Amen. Because it, it plays a key factor in our finance. Amen. And one of the things I'm going to do this morning, give me a minute here. I'm wrestling with a few things last night when I got home. I, I got the 520 on my chest. 520. Amen. And now I'm going to deal a little bit more about finance in the sense that the 520 is sometimes a, a credit score. Amen. And what the 520 do in different various credit scores, it identifies where you're at as far as your financial stability. Amen. Now, once they see a 520, they don't care about the man who's behind 520. The only thing they see is the 520. Now, you might be in church. You might have a title in the church. But the bottom line is you got a 520. We serve a God that is much bigger than the credit report. Yes. Amen? And we know that we are not bound to the 520. But if each and every one of us, I'm going home now, had to walk around with our credit score on our checks, somebody talk to me in here. If you had to walk around with your credit score on your chest, then you would work on your credit score. Because you know what happened? We got a lot of church critics. How can you have a title and have a credit score like that? How can you tell me what direction to go with a credit score like this? Now, it doesn't matter. You can say all the right things. You can preach all the right things. But it's just a mere fact. They don't care about the man behind the score, all they see is the score. Somebody talk to me in here. Because we see the credit score, and you know what you're preaching and teaching is the right thing, but the mere fact they can't get behind the credit score. And you know, we teach our kids how to pay time. We don't teach them how to make the money. All we know is that when the actual lending institution see you, they see a 520. This 520 affects your house. Because you cannot do the things you want to do for your family, you got a higher interest rate, and you got everything attached to the 520. And then you know what we say? We'll say, I don't want to talk about my finance problem because it's my problem, it's my business, I don't have every, I want everybody in my business. And then you know what happened? The 520 goes to a 490. Now we're suffering. And it's not the mere fact that we don't have the knowledge in the church, we got a tremendous amount of pride and we don't want to talk about it. Now, even though, you know, some folks will go, he's just a deacon. Even though the deacon has some insight, some direction, some guidance on how to fix this score that just dropped to a 490, you can't see yourself coming there asking the question. Because of pride, I'd rather just go ahead and suffer. But in the household of faith, we have to understand we're headed in a new direction. And we're going to need individuals with higher scores. 
And when we have these titles in the household of faith, the man of God is going to change the criteria. You see, I listen to my bishop as he preaches and teaches. And he's putting a folder together on each preacher, deacon, missionaries, everybody here. So this way here, the criteria is going to be different. The 520 score, the 490 score is not going to do. And we have to understand, it's in our capability of changing, but the mere fact that we are stuck here, the vicious circle. Because my mama had bad credit. My daddy had bad credit. I didn't understand what was 